Hello and welcome for this solo playthrough of Advanced Squad Leader. I'm Robin Reeve and this is the second series of video that I'm doing in English uh, playing uh, this wonderful game, which is my lifetime game. So the scenario today is J242 Courage of Cowan, uh, which is in the last ASL journal, journal number 14, and the designer is Andy Rogers, very renowned, very good designer from Australia because the whole journal is made uh, by Australian uh, designers and writers, etc. And Andy Rogers is well known for his Hatton in Flames excellent um, historical ASL um, module that I, I recommend even for, especially also for uh, beginners because uh, it has simple rules uh, it's there are no nights night days so if you don't master well night we don't like night too much uh, Hatton uh, works well it's in a in an Alsatian village um, and really a, a good scenario and this scenario uh, the carriage of Cowan uh, occurs at the very beginning of um, the Battle of the Bulge uh, near the Elsenborn Ridge and I, I if you see here the, the, the picture uh, we, we read the description of the scenario so I just added uh, the photo of uh, Richard Cowan which, he, which was the hero of that day uh, he was a, a short-lived hero because uh, he died the, the day afterwards uh, due to enemy fire. So uh, he was awarded in a posthumous way, posthumously, uh, the Medal of Honor, which is the highest uh, decoration you can get in the United States of America Army. Um, I read on Wikipedia some things about him stopping a king tiger. Um, but in the scenario, you just have Jagdpanzer uh, fear, which are already uh, nasty beasts. Uh, so I, I don't really know if, uh, yeah, if that story about the king tiger is correct. Anyway, we will now see the situation. First of all, uh, I, I went on uh, on. Um, Google Maps to find the place called Jansbach. So you see here, uh, there's an indication, Startpunkt der Deutschen Ardennen Offensive. That means that the starting point of the German uh, offensive in the Ardennes. You see there's a lot, there are a lot of woods here. And Jansbach is really a, a small place. And in the parenthesis, they, they, they speak of Nazissenblüte which means it's a place for uh, flowers to be to be precise narcissus so you, you, if you happen to be in that region and in spring you will find narcissus and if you go on, on google map you'll see even uh, photos of the place really it's a crossroad in the in the forest uh, with some glades and uh, you have a lot of narcissus narcissus i believe you say it that way so here is the scenario card. I'll try to, to read the, the settings. So uh, Jansbach Creek, that's a very American way to speak of a river, torrent, Belgium, 17th December 1944. I believe that creek could also be used by Australians, as Andy Rogers is Australian. Anyway, um, after a tough struggle, Kampfgruppe Müller from SS Panzer Division 12. Hitler Jugend pushed aside American infantry from the inexperienced 99th Infantry Division. Division. The American strategy was to delay the German advance long enough to prepare a strong defense, defense at Elsenborn Ridge. To this end, the veteran Dow boys from the 2nd Infantry Div Division deployed along Schwarzenburg Trail, supported by Shermans. The lead element of the Kampfgruppe, commanded by former Hitler aide SS Obersturmbannführer Richard Schulze Rossens, was again called upon to make a breakthrough 
breakthrough. His SS Panzer Grenadiers, uh, supported by assault guns, crossed Jansbach Creek and struck the American infantry along the wood line. And here is the aftermath. Schulzekossen's bat battalion, battalion 2 of SS Panzer Grenadier Regiment uh, 25, pursued the retreating elements of the 99th Infantry Division across the Jansbach Creek. As the SS Grenadier uh, deployed across the creek, they ran into the positions occupied by the experienced men of Company, Company 1, 23rd Infantry Regiment. It's complicated to switch from German to English so fast. Captain Charles McDonald's men repelled five German assaults. The SS brought up assault guns and attempted to outflank the left of the American line. In a semi-orderly fashion, the GIs fell back westerly to a new position and received the support of two Shermans. Private First Class Richard Cowan's efforts were crucial in covering the retreat. Despite being stunned by a, tan a tank round, Cowan's machine gun opened up on the advancing Germans, inflicting numerous casualties for his efforts. He was awarded the Medal of Honor. From what I have read on Wikipedia and on another site, when he had retreated, he was allowed to destroy his machine gun, so it was not taken by the enemy, and he, he moved uh, to, to the west a little, but he was killed the next day. But it's strange, because uh, on Wikipedia, they speak of his exploit on 17th September, which is the date also of this scenario, and they say he was, uh, he was killed the day after on December 17th, so the, there's a glitch in time, uh, something like the Twilight Zone happening here in the way people speak of heroic uh, efforts. Anyway, uh, this guy was a hero, a true one, and uh, he was born in, uh, in uh, 1922 uh, on December 5, so he was, he was just only 22, he just, he just had his birthday some, some days before. So we, he was killed really, uh, of course, early, as most soldiers are young, and uh, just after his sec 22nd uh, year birthday. A sad story, uh, but a heroic man. So the bold configuration, you'll see enough of it. Uh, it's the, you know, the, the woods and the... Um, and the stream uh, board 32, which came with, I believe, with Partisan, if I'm not sure, I'm not, yeah, I believe. And uh, there are two overlays, uh, orchards and orchard woods. Strange, strangely, orchard woods, I think, is the overlay you use to make disappear the chateau of board six, but it's placed in a, you'll see why. And the aftermath uh, gives some hints. Uh, I hadn't looked at it as precisely as when I, I just read it to you, but actually uh, it, it shows uh, something absolutely uh, sound in the German possibilities of action. So uh, we have uh, six turns uh, with American reinforcements coming uh, during their third turn. The American, of course, is defending, so they set up first and the German move first. So. What do we have? We have four elite squads, five first liners, three leaders, and a hero, which I bet is Mr. Cowan. I named him after the, yeah, with that name on the, on the counter of ASL. Two meter machine guns, three bazookas. Those are until the reinforcements come. The only real good uh, anti-tank assets. And, and against the Panzerjag, I feel they are not very good uh, versus frontal armor. But, you know, with 16 to kill uh, versus 11 uh, frontal armor, they still are a threat. Two 60 millimeters mortars, a sprinkle of uh, concealed counters, which will help units not to be spotted too easily from the, big, from the start and eight foxholes, yes, which can be useful. The reinforcements are two wet storage uh, Shermans, the M4A3, 76mm, which is the 
best threat against the, uh, the German armor and M4 A370 5, which will do uh, a fine job uh, against infantry. Uh, yes, the Germans win at game end by controlling uh, five or more building or rubble hexes within three hexes of E3. We will see that uh, the Germans not need to cross half the board and take those uh, buildings, which means that the tanks uh, play a role, but uh, you must you must bring the, the infantry to, to do the job finally. Uh, here are the elements of battalion two SS Panzerkanadier regiments, etc. I'll try to keep away from my, my bad German. Uh, they are SS classic eleven squads, eleven squads against nine G um, American squads. That's uh, yeah, That's, yeah. They are tough guys, but you know, uh, four leaders, so well led, well led. Yes, three leaders with minus one. Okay. Two MMGs, three LMG, one Panzerschreck, and two demo charges. Now, something to reckon with. And the Jagd Panzer uh, 75 long, okay. Uh, good frontal armor, uh, awful side armor. They are really tank hunters used as, uh, uh, as infantry support, and they have a, a high explosive of eight because they are elite normally normally seven but that's still uh, annoying to have depletion uh, for heavy uh, explosive when you need to fight against uh, infantry so the German must simply help hope that uh, the, the, the tankers have have still stalled some some anti-infantry ammo uh, EC are moist usually it's wet because when you have ground snow, normally it's wet, uh, and you have the overlays, etc. The buildings only have ground level, that only is about one building. And the foxholes are revealed as if night, that means that if you, they don't pop up when you immediate, immediately when you see them. That, that's the thing. You need to uh, use their defense or, or get out of them or enter them in the LOS of the enemy to, 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 to do things short. So here uh, is my uh, weather uh, effects table. I, I crafted the first version of it in the tactics journal, and I, I made one for myself uh, uh, in color, etc. Later, um, I don't know if I submitted, but nobody wanted to seem to to follow the suit. But I, I like that table because it, you have all the weather effects in in a quite um, synthetic way. So the EC are wet, but we see that they are moist after the scenario. The march are open ground, so the streams are frozen. We'll see what it means, but it means that they are as dry, uh, so uh, like gullies, uh, to, to, to say things shortly. So infantry and cavalry uh, expend one more MF per, per level change up down, Accepted, of course, uh, I plowed roads and things like that. S is uh, what? Uh, what? What could that mean? Uh, yeah. Stairwell, of course. Yeah, you're moving in a building as usual. Uh, yeah, then I lost my thing. I zoomed too too, too clearly. Okay, uh, road bonus not not allowed except plowed plowed road. But I don't think the SSL, SSR speak of that vehicle. Uh, spend one MP minimum, even if the road uh, is plowed. And Z is non-tracked vehicles. They add one MP MF per hex. Hi, that's one effect. Uh, no other effects. Um, blaze spread only to connecting bo bo yeah. uh, building woods, brush, or by gusts. And entrench plus two DRM. So, as you see, the SSRs don't, don't add more details. So, we will now switch to setup and look at everything. Uh, yeah, uh, Both sides have a sniper activation number of three. So, yeah. relatively 
low threats but still existing. So here is a board. Actually, uh, the German set of place could have uh, led to, to to crop the board on, on the east. No, but anyway, it's not a problem. So the Germans will be starting here, and the Americans uh, are on the left, on the west of the river. I put some red lines for setup just that you know and you see how it is so as you heard uh, or read the Germans tried to move by the left following the, the creek and I think that's a very good idea um, for some of them you know, for, for the tanks not all but uh, in a manifest way there are there is the road here of course, there will be a welcome committee here and also along the road. So, uh, the Americans have the challenge not to set up too much frontally because uh, they would uh, immediately be uh, killed uh, or fired upon by the German. So, they must have a, a quite uh, yeah, second line or a, uh, yeah position that is uh, less uh, less dangerous from the start but they still must stop the, the Germans so I'm doing my setup really on the fly I didn't uh, you know uh, think of it too much uh, I can deploy one squad so I'm going to deploy it and uh, duplicate it also ouch what's happening here okay and as usual, I give the more to the support weapons to uh, to my half squads. There we are. Oh, how strange! Okay, I know what I did. Actually, uh, I I'm using uh, unfortunately Vassal um, Vassal three seven zero. I shouldn't have because can you show that it moves? Yeah, you can show it physically, but it doesn't doesn't work. The little move indication doesn't work uh, with that that new vessel. Uh, no, yeah, new new vessel um, uh, module, but the vessel engine. Uh, but the, the the coming module uh, in in a couple of months, I don't know when it's coming out uh, of ASL will will work uh, with the, the move. Yeah, so sorry, but. We'll play as true players, which don't have little move uh, counters showing. So I'm giving the elite guys the machine gun, and I like to give it to give them to uh, less elite units. But you know, uh, we, we cannot uh, cannot um, deploy more than that. Not having those move uh, little tags is, is rather amusing, actually. So. Yes, there, there always a, is a problem here for uh, those hexes because in theory they, they should be considered open ground because the, the river doesn't cross uh, two hex sides. Uh, but I'll consider that they are streams nevertheless. So question, if the Germans come around here, there should be somebody to greet them. That's it. Here is quite dangerous because you have Germans who can already uh, harm them a little, but uh, you can one can place them in different positions. Uh, I would say the bazooka here are nice. Um, I'm trying to put my bazooka teams in, uh, in in interesting places which are not too vulnerable. That's all. Yeah, that's not too bad. German is not meant to know to, to place them. Uh, but anyway, and I have here the the mortars. This one can do a, a good job here and perhaps also have one rather uh, they have a minimum range of three. That's not extraordinary but not too bad either. Okay. I'll do that, and uh, yeah, oh. another bazooka team. Stupid to put it there because the tanks won't move here, but you can place them in other places, perhaps. 
uh, have a sort of fire brigade around here. Who knows? This this would be suicide is here. But, uh, having some covering troops can be a good idea. I'm not sure at all because I, I, I don't like heavy woods like that because you can quickly be uh, surrounded, but you know, who dares wins? Huh? That's what we say. Um, and the machine gun is yeah, why, why am I hesitating here? Uh, I'm having machine gun nest can do some good job here, and yeah, on the sides can be also very useful to have some. Really, really, really. Are you sure what you're doing, Robin? Hmm. Um, yeah, I'm going to push them here just a little more. Uh, Cowan, where is Cowan? Be going, okay. I'm, I'll put him rather in the front, as as good guys should do. Okay. Um, Miller here, and. Yeah. Napier here. I'm going to put Cowan here because perhaps things will be heated. And Olsen. Or we can simply be placed here with some rally ready. So I'm going to hide them. Try to check trick the Germans slightly, but you know, not really a lot, so uh, yeah, the Germans are, yeah, the, those dummies are the most simple things. In theory, when you place foxholes, oh no, because they don't see where you could place a visible foxhole, so you you hide the, the contents. I'm going to hide an app here anyway, and the mortar team here also. There we are. Why? Why? No, no, they intimidate people. This except they keep. Okay, so I'm going to put in foxholes those. This guy's here, this guy's here, there's no debates here. Where is the other IS? There they are. Yeah, they're in the orchard. And this is a good place to have some. Okay. Uh, And this is just in case. Okay, so that's for their placement. So the German won't see. We'll see some of them, and not all of them. Mm -hmm. okay. So on the German side, well, well, well. Uh, yes, I'm already deciding to. Yeah, even there's a threat threat here. But but what can you do else? So it's not a bad idea to move here. Uh, along the road, of course. Uh, let me see. Yeah. If you will need. Yes. Uh. What can the German do? I'm just checking the terrain. Okay, yeah. I'm trying things anyway. Perhaps not the best idea in the world, so I'm putting two guys here under the tank. And of course, as I have 11 Germans, I could uh, deploy two squads, and I will do that exactly. So, there we are. Those two squads are duplicated, yeah, deployed, so... There are two dudes who will run in front. There are two machine gun totes, and the others will do 
something else. So that well. Okay. Whew. Yeah. Things can still be tried. I believe so. Mm. Yeah, of course I'll put some people behind. Here I'll put some recon house squad ready to run in front. Hola, hola, hola. Uh, of course, in the river you cannot uh, use too many uh, foot units because it costs a lot. With the, I'll have the machine gunners come here. There we are. And who's going to move quickly on the side? of the board with a machine gun. Uh, the reinforcements will come with them. Um, yeah, I'll need... The Germans also have a, you know, Panzer, a Panzer, Panzer Feuster to, to, to carry, so I must simply try to get them together. So two and a half, I'm putting a third one here. One, two and a half also. And here also some recon guys. Well, hmm. uh, Friedman here. Um, Holler, Holler. We're here giving him the demo charge here. Herr Inseln giving them stupid names anyway. And Fröhlich, yeah, Fröhlich, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's always a good thing to give the demo charges to the leaders. Anyway, everybody is um, is um, elite, but uh, this can work well. So uh, placement of the snipers. So the USA and will place him here. Okay, and the German place his sniper over off yeah here who knows no here is more amusing uh, no this is nice because it can fit perhaps what looks like a kill stack okay so this is my uh, my setup okay the the Shermans oh Stop up, pop up. Now the Shermans will come around here uh, within this place so they can address the threats of different situations. Okay. So there we are for the setup. Um, I will already conceal units which are out of LOS. Oh, there we are. Doing stupid things as usual. No, they are already concealed, of course. Ah, no. So we know there's a bazooka here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully everybody is concealed. The German also. Everybody should be concealed because nobody sees anybody. There we are. Oh, uh, yeah. Those are riders. Uh, the amusing thing is that they couldn't enter woods uh, as riders, but they can go. Yeah, they can mount their, their tank while in the woods. And this unit will, of course, use bypass here to enter the, the river. Well, I don't know if it's really a good idea, but that's part of the fun. So here we are. We are on the German uh, turn one ready phase. I'm going to eliminate the boundaries. Oh. Oh yes, no problem. I eliminate that one also. Here we are. No need anymore. There we are. And you can see on the left, I put V's for the victory hexes, so you know what to aim. The only, and I put a little label without background just to say there's ground level only. That's the only building which doesn't have ground level. So. Here we are. Uh, I bet I could slightly uh, zoom. There, that's nice. We have a small, uh, yeah, good, uh, small 
small surface so we can see the units closer so if you are looking at this youtube by uh, smartphone you you you'll see the counter slightly better so uh, we are edging to the ed uh, to the end of this video video i hope you're about to have fun uh, with uh, with this uh, bulge uh, bulge scenario i'm looking forward to playing it and i'm looking forward to having fun whatever you will find i will have fun so that's what that's the essentials um of course uh, if you are looking at my videos for the first time uh, uh, you of course i'll make errors of course i'll miss things of course my tactics are not top notch uh, but we are out there just to yeah just to have fun so i hope to uh, i'll perhaps have some problems because uh, posting in a regular way because the coming week and the following ones are are quite yeah quite heavy loaded with uh, activities the, uh, i'm a teacher professor so uh, the, the courses have started and we have a lot of starting situations and also uh, evenings etc so uh, i bet I, I will be able to post something during the weekend but uh, yeah things will come when they will come that's all i'm just checking here Oh, I forgot to conceal them. You see, I forgot them. Okay. And those also, I forgot them. There they are, yeah. So, uh, see you later if you want. Bye-bye.